Beefalo, also referred to as Catalo or the American hybrid, are a fertile hybrid offspring of domestic cattle Bos taurus, usually a male in managed breeding programs, and the American bison, bison, bison usually a female in managed breeding programs. The breed was created to combine the characteristics of both animals for beef production. Beefalo are primarily cattle in genetics and appearance, with the breed association defining a full beefalo as one with three-eighths bison genetics, while animals with higher percentages of bison genetics are called bison hybrids. History Accidental crosses were noticed as long ago as 1749 in the southern English colonies of North America. Beef and bison were first intentionally crossbred during the mid 19th century. The first deliberate attempts to cross breed bison with cattle was made by Colonel Samuel Bedson, warden of Stony Mountain Penitentiary, Winnipeg, in 1880. Bedson bought eight bison from a captive herd of James McKay and interbred them with Durham cattle. The hybrids raised by Bedson were described by naturalist Ernest Thompson Seton. The hybrid animal is claimed to be a great improvement on both of its progenitors, as it is more docile and a better milker than the buffalo, but retains its hardihood, while the robe is finer, darker and more even, and the general shape of the animal is improved by the reduction of the hump and increased proportion of the hind quarters. After seeing thousands of cattle die in a Kansas blizzard in 1886, Charles Buffalo. Jones, a co-founder of Garden City, Kansas, also worked to cross bison and cattle at a ranch near the future Grand Canyon National Park, with the hope the animals could survive the harsh winters. He called the result, Catalo, in 1888. Mossum Martin Boyd of Bobcajun, Ontario first started the practice in Canada, publishing about some of his outcomes in the Journal of Heredity. After his death in 1914, the Canadian government continued experiments in crossbreeding up to 1964, with little success. For example, in 1936 the Canadian government had successfully crossbred only 30 Catalos. Lawrence Boyd continues the crossbreeding work of his grandfather on a farm in Alberta. It was found early on that crossing a male bison with a domestic cow would produce few offspring, but that crossing a domestic bull with a bison cow apparently solved the problem. The female offspring proved fertile, but rarely so for the males. Although the Catalo performed well, the mating problems meant the breeder had to maintain a herd of wild and difficult to handle bison cows. In 1965, Jim Burnett of Montana produced a hybrid bull that was fertile. Soon after, Corey Skoranek of California formed the World Beefalo Association and began marketing the hybrids as a new breed. The new name, Beefalo, was meant to separate this hybrid from the problems associated with the old Catalo hybrids. The breed was eventually set at being genetically at least 5 eighths Bos taurus and at most 3 eighths Bison Bison. Nutrition characteristics A United States Department of Agriculture study found beefalo meat, like bison meat, to be lower in fat and cholesterol than standard beef cattle. The American Beefalo Association states that beefalo are better able to tolerate cold and need less assistance calving than cattle, while retaining domestic cattle's docile nature and fast growth rate. They damage rangeland less than cattle. They also state that beefalo meat contains 4-6% more protein and is more tender, flavorful, and nutritious than a standard steer. Beefalo has significantly less calories, fat, and cholesterol, than beef cattle, chicken, and cod. The American Beefalo Association states that the crossbreeds are hardier, are more economical, and less care-intensive to nurture, and produce meat that's superior to that of the common cow. Registration In 1983, the three main beefalo registration groups reorganized under the American Beefalo World Registry. Until November 2008, there were two beefalo associations, the American Beefalo World Registry and American Beefalo International. These organizations jointly formed the American Beefalo Association, Inc., which currently operates as the registering body for beefalo in the United States. Effect on bison conservation 
Most current bison herds are genetically polluted or partly crossbred with cattle. There are only four genetically unmixed American bison herds left, and only two that are also free of brucellosis, the Wind Cave bison herd that roams Wind Cave National Park, South Dakota, and the Henry Mountains herd in the Henry Mountains of Utah. A herd on Catalina Island, California is not genetically pure or self-sustaining. Dr. Dirk Van Vuren, formerly of the University of Kansas, however, points out that the bison today that carry cattle DNA look exactly like bison, function exactly like bison and in fact are bison. For conservation groups, the interest is that they are not totally pure. Catalo The term, Catalo is defined by United States law as a cross of bison and cattle which have a bison appearance. In Canada, however, the term is used for hybrids of all degrees and appearance. In some U.S. states, Catalo are regulated as exotic animals, along with pure bison and deer. However, in most states, bison and hybrids which are raised solely for livestock meat and sale purposes similar to cattle, are considered domestic animals like cattle, and do not require special permits. See also American cattle Hybrid master Bovid hybrid Haldane's rule Zubrin Wind cave bison herd Antelope island bison herd